Hi everyone, Mary at Espresso Press Design. Hope you're all doing well. Thank you for stopping by and another charm project today. But first, um, housekeeping. Thank you to my customers, Thierry, Brianna, L. You know who you are. You didn't have to do that, but I thank you very much. Dana, Nicole, thank you all for the kind reviews and I hope you enjoy your products. A shout out today to Hawaii and oh boy, that's been hard to watch on the news, all that devastation and I can't even imagine, but um, thoughts and prayers for you and to also to China your recent flooding has been uh, also quite horrifying to watch so thoughts and prayers to those in China I really um, I've had the occasion to meet some Chinese people. I think you're very kind and nice and very sorry to hear what you're going through, some of you. Okay, um, Susan, I hope you got my town. I'll talk a little bit about that shortly. And Nancy, I hope that you were able to find the How to Make Tiles video. Susan, um, I hope, you know, sometimes I don't like to put my town publicly. I don't, I know I am public. I know if someone wanted to find me or us, they absolutely could because we have a business. But on more than one occasion, I've watched, um, People on YouTube get stalked, and I'm just, you know, I put myself out there, and I, I accept all the risks of being public on YouTube, but, you know, my family is a different story. So I hope you understand that. And your idea for the stationery and going through my papers... Um, I really didn't have that many I wanted to part with. And the ones that would be usable are background papers, and I use those all the time. So I came up with one little pad, and that's about it so far. But I did, I did um, take the time to explore your idea, and thank you. And I'll see, you know... I need some fillers, but my table is actually pretty full. The space I'm allotted, so I'll see how it goes. Okay, today is charms, another charms. And these ones I really do love. I mean, I like them all, but you know, you always end up with your favorites. <clears throat> and these are so ridiculously simple. Another ridiculously simple, and I know that you could probably achieve this using pearlescent paint or whatever, but I didn't have that. And one day I was just goofing around and had my glitter out. So I came up with these, and I thought, oh, isn't that pretty if you, I know you're not going to get all of the shimmer on there. I know you're not, even if I shield my light a little bit. So those were the first ones, and they're fine, but I thought I'd like, like to do this a little differently. So I came up with these ones. And they are beautiful. 
Okay. Well, first of all, I tried them on a word background. Didn't particular particularly like that, so I moved on. And these are, I think I'm going to call them Old World. And I know you're probably not going to see that, but in the photo, it's stunning. There are little flecks, flecks of gold in there. And I doubt you're going to see it on the video, but there they are. And I did some, I thought, let me try it with some background paper and see what happens. So I used um, some of this from Love Letters. And while they didn't, um, there you can see a little bit of the gold. Maybe, I don't know. The colors are very muted. So you really can't see the background through them. And then on these ones, I use a lighter tone of ink. So that's what happens if you use the background paper. Still lovely. And this camera isn't doing them justice because you can't see the little flecks of gold. But what you'll need is some packaging material. I did mine 4 by 6 Hopefully I have it. Yeah, I do. Packaging material. For the first ones, I use some coffee dye paper. Um, some wax paper. Some glitter. Uh, it can be fine or chunky or if you want absolutely no mess. You can use glitter glue. Some punches, although some of these I did in a more square type fashion and just used my fancy corner rounder. So some punches. I have two here because I made different sizes for these ones. And I'm going to use Mod Podge, but if you want to use glue, be my guest. So I'm just going to show you the um, step one and step two. And I'm just putting a very thin coat of glue here. And I have one already finished because, again, before you even attempt to put it through the embossing folder or the press, it has to be completely, almost completely dry or you are going to slide your paper. off of your packaging material and then that will just be a big mess. So I'm using Mod Podge here because I've I don't know why I never use this tool. It's actually quite handy. And then I just put that on there. Good burnish. And trim it off.
Okay, there's step one. I'm going to let this dry. I already have one here in the next phase. I'll show you in a minute. And then you take this, put a very thin coat of Mod Podge on here. I almost want to do a different color, but I'm, I'm not going to. I'm going to do this exact same as I did these. Different color ink, I mean. Because I always, I don't like doing the same things. And already, look at my pile there. I have to find probably might find another container to put these in because my compartments are full again in my little embellishment containers. Okay, this is where the glitter comes. So I just um, <clears throat> I didn't want any puddles of glitter. So I just poured some out, and then I'm just going to sprinkle, lightly sprinkle. I just want flecks, little flecks of gold. Okay, I think that'll do. I'm going to put this over this. And burnish very well. And you could also do that with glitter glue. But I kind of like the effect of this glitter because it's a little bit chunky. And it kind of looks like flakes. So that's why I went with this. And amazingly, in the light, it still retains the, um, still retains the sparkle. Okay. So I have one that's I did last night and it's completely dry. And there it is underneath the wax paper. So I'm just going to trim this off. And I hope you will Visit the blog so you can see the photos. I probably won't do another photo of these because it's going to pretty much be almost exactly the same. Although I meant to use <laughs> meant to use the opposite side of that paper on this one and then started on there and I did it because you can see the um, striations and everything from the um, coffee dye and I meant to use that one, that side and this side is a little more plain. Okay, so I'm going to run this over to the embossing folder and I'll be right back. So see how that is. And I did, I was playing around with some other glitter things, but I, I didn't like the, I didn't like the feel of it. So 
that kind of led to a mini experiment. I just didn't like the feel of that chunky glitter. In this embossing folder, I'll tell you what. It, um, I have a really hard time, and I, I just used a scroll. Embossing folder. Okay. So there. Try to get both there. How's that? There you can see the glitter through the wax paper. And now what I used was um, vintage photo. Let me quick um, close this Mod Podge lid. So remember that that was that completely dried. This is still too cool and too wet. I would not run it through, or I'd be asking for trouble. So this one was completely dry, and then, and you're going to say, well, the ink isn't going to stay on there. Well, yes, it is. It's not quite. It's not going to go anywhere after it dries. It stays. So there is your old world. See that gold flex through there? I hope you can see. There. Finally. Okay. So now it's just a matter of punching or cutting and then rimming with more gold with my trusty pen. I'm sorry, this series has been a little bit trite. But you know, charms. <laughs> I, I feel charms should have a little bling because they're not exactly in the same category as embellishments. Um, that'll make a nice, let me chop that off first, that'll make a nice square one, so I'm going to chop that off, and by the way, this was four by six. So I keep that, and that's not straight. But, oh well, we'll get her at the end. I keep those little pieces and I can make little rectangle ones. Can make a couple big ones here. So the craft show is still going. I'll tell you what, I'm getting pretty burnt out on it. 
wait until it's here. Okay. I'll finish this row up. And then I'll make, I'll show you how I did a couple square ones. Um, okay. Let's go down. get a tiny one out of that little end there. I'll do that later. Oh, my book just fell on my trash. Okay, well, wait, one more cut. I do this probably one and three quarters. And two, and we'll get a little tiny square one. Then I took this punch here with the three different corners. I'll tell you what, this is one of my favorite tools. And I made Few different types of corners like this. These that's a book plate too, if you want to consider that. Um do this one. This punch is one of my best investments. And yes, the, the wax paper being thin and the paper and the packaging material. You shouldn't have any trouble going through the um, machine. This one might be a little. Oh, that's cute. I think. Do this one a little different. I didn't know I could get a tiny tag. Going that with. Come on. Well, that's a little odd. Okay, I'm going to set that off. And there you go. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see that tiny tag. <laughs> Okay, so then I just did the usual. Took 
took some time yesterday to clean my room and I have little bits on the floor already from those flying pieces. I'll do that one later. I'll just room a few here. I'll room that one. That one. Oh, I should poke my hole first. Tiny hole punch. I haven't seen that much interesting this week. Been shopping to get the last of my containers. Hopefully the last. Maybe I'll need one more. I plan on putting a basket of odds and ends. And freebies. Should put a basket of candy too, but I don't know if I'll have enough room. And then I gave up on my um, Christmas tree, metal tree, ornament tree to hang things from. Well, I found a tiny one at Goodwill, and I just didn't like any of the styles. You know, it has to go in my house after use for the show, and none of the styles. I've looked at those before, and I've wanted one for years. And now that I finally decide to buy one, except for the very largest one, which is a full-size tree, um, none of them really fit the style of my house, so I didn't, I didn't feel like spending that amount of money. So I hope you know what I'm talking about, one of those metal trees that you hang your glass ornaments and things like that from at Christmas. I was going to get a 30 inch one and hang products from. I guess I'll do that one. Gonna fit up, that's a little wonky. hang products from. I don't know if I'll get a hole in there, but I'll have to go down a little bit. That's cute. Now I don't have to buy one of those. Dies. I always kind of wanted one of those. Tiny tags dies. So I can't wait until this is over. I'm getting a little burnt out. A little. <laughs> getting burnt out on making products. I think you have to be one of those people that you did this for years, or a year at least, that you would have enough inventory that you're not so rushed, or don't feel so rushed. I, not that it's really rushed, it's been since April. So there we go. 
Uh, let me see if I can get the glitter to show through there again. Oh, come on. Where was I when I did that? Oh, I'm trying. I'm trying. Let me shield the light a little bit. It's not showing. Not that much. But in the photo, it is very evident. So, hop on over to the blog. Let me try. If I shield the light completely. No, still not working. But it's there. You saw it before. So, okay. These are, I think, very lovely, but simple but lovely. And, um, there's a couple of those. Couple different shapes. There's another one. There's some we did today. So I hope you'll visit the blog so you can see these close up and do them. Oops, what about, do them justice? Because they are quite pretty. Okay, have a good one everyone. I'll see you next time. Probably another charm. Probably. Not sure. Not sure. Okay, have a good one. Thanks again. Bye.